Hello everybody and welcome to Negative Space. I'm Haku and this is a new tutorial about Silverfast Studio 8. Silverfast Studio 8 is a very powerful tool to scan your negatives and is by far the best that I tried out. In the past I used the default Epson scanner uh, software, I used ViewScan which is another great software but its interface is very complicated. Silverfast Studio 8 is very powerful with a nice and clean interface which is which makes it very very easy to use if you know what the option does so i already loaded my epson v700 scanner with black and white 6x6x6 six by six by six negatives and now we're going to import these negatives into my computer using silverfast studio 8 so let's open up silverfast okay silverfast welcomes you with this uh, intro uh, interface which tells you which version are you using. Every scanner comes with different Silverfast installation. So uh, mine is for the V700. If you use a Canon, you have to download another version of Silverfast. Then you click start. I already scanned the negative before, just to make sure everything went smoothly, but I will redo everything step by step, like if, like if it was the first time, okay? So the first things that I will do is to go to the frame and delete all and reset frame. This will tell Silverfast that uh, it has to delete every preview that it has done and start from scratch. Start from scratch. Next, you choose if it's a negative or a positive, meaning this is a, a positive field strip like uh, slides and this is for negatives. Then you choose the 48-bit color because uh, I noticed that uh, working on the 16-bit black and white didn't give me the same amount of details that I, get, that I could get with the 48-bit colors. I will make the image black and white later in Photoshop. The main goal for me in scanning my negative is to get as much details as I can out of my negative. So, the first thing is to develop your negative the right way in order to have a very printable negative. Then, we have to use Silverfast in our favor to get the most data out of it. The first thing, so, is to set to negative, 48-bit color, and then choose your resolution and go as high as, you, as the green can. Mine is uh, 1800 ppi, okay? And, that's, and then do a pre-scan. Okay, now the pre-scan is done and we have and we get to choose which frame we wanna scan. You may choose to scan all the frames or just one or two, it doesn't matter. The first thing you have to do is to go and choose the first negative that you want to scan. I already know that this one is my favorite, so we're gonna go with this. And to be very precise with the crop, you have to put the pull and to be very precise with the, with the crop, you have to go here and click the zoom. This will take you to this interface where you can go very, very, very near the borders and get most of the frame. If you like frame borders, you can also increase the size of the crop to include them, but I don't like them, so I will keep them out of my image. Now that, now that my framing is done, it's time to go through all the options. The first time you get to start uh, Silverfast Studio 8, you will have enabled these two panels. I will tell you what they does, but we're gonna remove them. Okay, so leaving everything as negative, 48-bit color, 1, 1800 PPI as a scan resolution. Don't bother about the densitometer, don't bother about the navigation. On the picture settings, you can increase if you want your exposure slightly you can change your contrast but i found out that every change that i do in silverfast is too dramatic is too heavy and i prefer i prefer to change my image in photoshop if needed so i will always leave these picture settings to zero zero and zero then for the negative Negafix, this is supposed to have some kind of preset to tell 
the scanner how to treat the negative that you're using but uh, um, I always leave it to other other and zero because I don't found it's uh, very, very matching with the negative that I'm scanning. So I will always leave to zero. This is meant to let you increase the sharpness of Im your image before scanning it, before acquiring it as a TIFF file. But I found out that it's going to go crazy with your uh, film grain. If you have a very low film grain, like say uh, an 100 ISO, 50 ISO, then maybe it will be okay to in slightly increase your uh, unsharp masking but any other film is going to is going to make uh, weird uh, artifacts uh, and i don't really like them i much prefer to sharpen the image in photoshop if needed so i will take the take it out click the x no unsharp mask and also the isrd dust and scratch removal uh, is meant to go deep in the film and remove any scratch or dust spot that you have uh, on the, on the on the film plane but also this is going to make some artifacts i noticed so i also this i will take out and i will eventually clean the image in photoshop now that everything is set it's time to go to scan and if you have uh, just one image you can go to scan and simply scan or if you have more images, more frames, you can go to scan, batch scan. You have to choose the folder where you want to save it. And you get to choose a name. And then click scan. So now Silverfast is, Silverfast is scanning the image from the negative and uh, we're gonna see the results in Photoshop, make them black and white, adjust the levels and uh, get rid of, uh, of all the dust that we may find. Okay, now let's open up Photoshop and finalize our image. Let's go to the folder where it was saved and open it with Photoshop. Okay, here it is our image and as you can see it has a strong magenta cast because we scanned this image in 48-bit color Okay, so we are now going to select the mode and make it 16 bit. Okay. Now the first thing that I do is to make it black and white. So I just add a black and white adjustment layer and now I have my black and white image. Then I add, I add a curves layer where I, go, I get to work with the contrast a little bit and the luminosity. I found this image quite well exposed, but a little bump in my dark areas will not make any harm. Okay, now as you can see, we have a lot of dust and little scratches on the negatives, but we're going to remove them with our patch tool. So, First thing, just duplicate everything on top with Command Alt Shift E option, okay? And uh, Photoshop will make an, a new layer on the top, okay? Then get our patch tool, our trusty pen, and let's remove every bit of dust. Okay, now that we have our image, we can save it. And I usually save it as TIFF. Save. In place. No compression. And it's okay. The image that you get with this method is very big and is very, very well printable even with digital uh, printers or online services. And for example, I printed mine in this photo book here. Let you see. Here it is. This 
this is the other image. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want, you can see another tutorial next Tuesday and if you want, you can subscribe to my channel here to get notified about my next uploads and uh, have a nice day. Bye!